a pit bull's jaws will lock, and once they lock on, they get that sense of power, and they are starved for more power. Wow! Uh, coming up for you this hour, something Greg's been wanting to do for a while. Don't say um or uh. <laughs> yes. He loves it. One of the things they try to teach you when you take like a speech or debate class, you want to cut down on those kind of things or big, long yeah. pregnant pauses for no reason other than effect, you know? Sure. <laughs> but exactly. don't say um or uh. And Not we figured easy. since it's the, it's the debate tonight, it's the first presidential debate. It's hosted by oh, CNN. Yeah. It's going to air on Wait. multiple networks starting at uh, 9 p.m. Eastern. Biden and Trump, 90 minutes, and they're going to have those rules about, you know, when one person's talking, the other person's mic will be cut off. Mm -hmm. Right. And, you know, so anyway. It's that's, funny. It uh, hasn't even happened yet, and I'm sick of it. Like, you can't. Really? I know. Am Listen, I you know. the only one that is excited for it? No. Yes. I'm already over it. It hasn't even existed I yet. I feel like that's how a lot of people are. I have yeah. no skin in the game because I don't care about any of it, but I just want to see technically how it plays out again with the microphone stuff and, yeah you know, yeah i hate just, both I of see them if anybody's that's like that's the thing it's like i like it's hard to be excited about or yeah. interested in either one of these guys i am not i'm just no. and most people the, aren't the mechanics of yeah i'm with it menace. it's gonna be interesting but <laughs> yeah. i don't care about the debate itself <laughs> yeah but uh the important stuff you guys they asked people about different things voters asked about different things asked who would be better at those things biden or trump Okay. Again, this mm -hmm. is the important stuff. Normal by the numbers. And just for the record, the people that they polled were from both parties and some independents in there. Okay. So what they were asked, who would be more likely to remember your birthday? Ooh. Trump or Biden? Oh, uh, wow. <laughs> I, that, I can't even call we it. We talked to the voters. Remember Here's, your birthday. I don't yeah. think... I don't think Biden would remember it, but no. then I yeah. think uh, Trump wouldn't care about my birthday. Right. I was going to say yeah. the same you know? thing. Yeah. yeah. So. Biden point. wouldn't remember, but Trump wouldn't care. <laughs> yeah. Right. Would Biden remember his own birthday? <laughs> yeah. right. no. uh, who would be a better house guest, Trump or Biden? House guest. Uh, Biden. Um, Biden. Biden, because Biden, he'd be so he'd mellow, taking, low yeah, key, yeah. chilling, taking naps. naps. Yeah. 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 Right. All sleeping on the couch. <laughs> yeah. Just stock up on yeah. ice cream. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, somebody said, uh, don't talk politics, you guys. That's why I like your show. This is not politics. We're asking about arm, rest, uh, arm wrestling. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And how dumb be stuff. <laughs> yeah, and, and then one of the big stories today is that there's a debate. We just let you know that's happening. We're not getting into the nitty-gritty of, uh, of, either, of either person or the actual issues. No. Uh, who would give better financial advice? Oh, by the way, mm. Biden would be the better house guest, according to the voters that they, uh, <laughs> okay. that they mm. talked to. Better financial advice? Yeah, I, would would be, think, I would think Trump. Yeah, oh, Trump. Uh, I would think uh, Biden with the, the alleged insider information. <laughs> oh, that's what you're saying. Uh, well, that went to Trump. Most people <laughs> yeah. said Trump. Okay. Who would be better at keeping a secret? Biden. Biden. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Trump, uh -huh. Trump says whatever just comes to mind. Uh, yeah, I would definitely say Biden. Mm. Yeah, agreed. Who would be more likely to return a lost wallet? Uh, <laughs> They'd both keep them. <laughs> one yeah. would keep it, one would forget it was even in his hand. So. Right. Um, no, I think maybe maybe Trump because yeah, he would want the shine of, look what I found. Yeah, I'm going to say Trump. Yeah. I would say uh, Biden. People said, and then, people said Biden. I think that. Biden would like see a wallet and be like, oh, cool. <laughs> was, was this mine? Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who would you go to? They asked voters again from both parties and some independents. Uh, about the important issues, and the voters were asked who would give better relationship advice, Trump or Biden? Mm. Biden. Uh, Let's go with Biden on that. Biden uh, got I the most. Uh, who would survive longer on a deserted island? Trump. Uh, Trump. Really? Uh, I'm just going gut reactions here. I think I think Biden would just just hang out. <laughs> But you, you think know, he yeah, can, like, get his own food and water if he had See, yeah. to? Looking, I don't yeah, think he'd just, like, you know, nap it out, I don't think out, either dude. one of them really could, <laughs> but who, have the, who would have the better shot at doing it? Yeah. Um, I, so I'm thinking when this one, I'm thinking, like, more in their prime, right? Oh, Both okay. guys yeah. in their prime. If I had to look at it that way, I would think Biden. Yeah. Yeah, in yeah, um, their prime Biden. Trump has been very privileged his entire life. Right. You know, like, very, you know, uh, people to do all these things. Mm. Not that Biden grew up in the ghetto, no. You know, yeah, but but uh, I I would think that he'd be a little scrappier. I agree. In that situation, yeah, in their prime, uh, in their that prime, makes sense, yeah. yeah, yeah. Neither one of them now; they're both old. Right. And they haven't done right. anything for themselves in God knows how long. <laughs> uh, who would be more likely to help a stranger? Um, uh, I'm going to say uh, Trump because I read this old story about 
just that. Okay, I'll really? say Trump as well because I think Biden can't even really help himself right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I see. So yeah, I would say Biden on that one. I'll go Biden. I think Trump would do yeah. it for a photo op. Yeah, I don't. Right. I can't yeah. call it. You know, but what did you know. what did you read, Greg? That he, yeah. uh, his limo <laughs> broke down and some guy helped him out, and then for helping him out, he paid off his house. And he was oh, wow. asked cool. multiple times Rip. about that, and apparently it is true. Oh wow, huh. mm. nice. that's cool. Don't yeah. quote me on it. All right, that's, well, that's yeah. what's. I'm out buying there. a limo. I'm breaking down. <laughs> <laughs> well, did you see that story about the uh, the woman? She had some kind of problem, uh, and she was on her way to the Coldplay show, and then uh, Chris Martin was on on his way to this. Oh yeah, uh, I saw yeah. that. No, yeah. what happened? Mm. And he pulled over, and he uh, gave her a ride to the show, brought her backstage. Nice. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's rad. Huge. Yeah, she was psyched. It was all over. Oh, social. I bet. Like I don't know, a few weeks ago. So that would cool. be the best. That's. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, who'd be a more reliable designated driver? Uh, oh, uh, Trump. He doesn't Trump. drink. Yeah, yeah, that's right. He's Trump. sober. Neither one of them drink. Oh, they don't. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's the only I one they tied on. <laughs> I would say, uh, yeah, definitely Trump would probably be the best designated driver. Driven. Does he ever drive? Has he yeah. ever yeah. driven? Yeah. I don't know. Oh, okay. Let's go Biden so on that. I do have a funny story about Biden. So you know, Biden's wife used to be uh, married before, and yeah. Um. The ex-husband says that Biden got in a car accident in his car. Oh, really? Yeah, but <laughs> what, what, were they cheating or? That's what he's having like an affair. He's, yeah, he's that's in, what he's insinuating. He's, he's implied that the whole time. Oh. That, mm. but she was just helping out with Biden's campaign. Yep. Whoops. Uh. So they asked some voters about the important stuff. This is what they said on the Stranger Thing. By the way, uh, people voted for Biden on that one. Uh, who would be a more trustworthy babysitter? Biden won that. Okay. Oh, for sure. Yeah. yeah. Parenting yeah. advice. Biden won that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And better fashion sense. What would you say, Greg? Greg and Menace are the two fashionistas. Yeah, better fashion sense. Fashion sense. Ooh, I mean, those Trump shoes were a uh, little, little uh, hideous. But I don't. I, don't uh, think he... I would say probably I'll, I'll Biden say, because they're just safe. Uh, I'll say, it's just safe. I'll just say Trump. Didn't he have a tie I mean, line or something like that? I oh mean, yeah, not, yeah. It's not He's like he. Like, either. I, you know, we bag Trump on, will put his name on anything. Yeah. yeah. Well, true. Yeah. Trump from is buildings to stakes. He's, to, exactly. But at least it's <laughs> in that world. He's willing to yeah. take fashion risks. And it's not like he's <laughs> in there designing. <laughs> yeah. Fashion risk. You know. Yeah. So uh, I'll, it was I'll close. It was close with the voters, but uh, Trump did get more votes on that. One. Oh, damn. Yeah. So again, this is the very important <laughs> stuff going into mm -hmm. the debate tonight. And we do have for the great debate a round of don't say um or uh. Nice. Okay. Get ready. Now, Greg, explain it to everybody again, please. Well, essentially, you're going to be given a topic or an argument to make, and then you'll have one minute to make that argument, whether you mm -hmm. agree with it or not. That's not the point. The okay. whole point is to not say um or ah or take long pregnant pauses, and the topic will be something that you might not want to make the argument for. Yeah, all right. It's, uh, it's always more difficult than you think because it's going against, like, we just know each other well enough that, you know, we could say... Menace, tell us why you absolutely can't stand raising canes. Right. And, uh, and I, can, go. I can do that. But, well, hence but the you challenge. Would, for, for the game, you know that would be the game. You would have I, to right. do it. I'm feeling sick today. In the spirit <laughs> of the game. <laughs> yeah. In the spirit of the game. Sorry, it, you know, he loves he loves raising canes. I lost but like my that's voice. that's like something that <laughs> that's like something we might uh we might say. I physically can't speak. Oh, I have we might have asked him about <laughs> yeah, we, we might have asked him uh, yeah. you know about uh, Kanye West. You know, a handful of years ago. Now it doesn't really care. No. Now I'm looking for like, can we find somebody, Morgan? Get me like, just get me a couple people lined up on the phones. If there's anybody out there who's real confident that they'd be able to do it, no problem. I'd be curious. We'll see how the the listeners do it too. Just find me two people. Get me two people. Um, and again, this is for people who are really confident they would be able to do it. If we gave you a topic, something to talk about for 60 seconds. With no big long pauses and not saying um or uh, if you think that you could do that, give us a call. 877-44-WOODY. That's 877-44-WOODY. Definitely <laughs> tech. So you guys do politics all of a sudden now. Yeah. No, yeah. dude. Yet again. Yet Fashion again. Fashion and arm wrestling. Arm wrestling and relationship <laughs> advice. That's See, this is how politically crazy people are. <laughs> they can't even saying, have like, a fun discussion about What are you talking about? It's like losers. Oh, God. <laughs> Get over it. If, if that's politics, I, we started God. the segment like uh, I don't care yeah. either way. Yeah, right. But yeah, so the the debate is a big story today, and we're not getting into all that. But <laughs> we now know who's uh, most likely to win in an arm wrestling uh, match, or 
more likely to help a stranger, right? Yeah. Woody Show. Well, tonight is a big debate on television. Maybe you've between heard the, something about it. Yeah. Between the two presidential candidates. Wait, don't talk about it. You might trigger some people to text in. <laughs> <laughs> Talking politics. Yeah. So what we're Not doing good. is a game that Greg loves. It's called Don't Say Um or Uh. We've, yes. Uh, played it's this a difficult. number of times in the past. It's, it's very difficult. There's one key factor of the game that I completely forgot how we handle. If somebody mm. does say um or ah, uh, does the clock just stop and they're done? Or or do we count the ums and ahs? I can't remember. I uh, we, th- never, we never counted it. it yeah, just, we just stopped was, it down. You right. said you lost. And it would be how far you got. Yeah. Oh, okay. that was That was the end. Yep. Okay. Is that I think we, you know what? If you want to, we can give them one. Really? I mean, there's. Because I, I, you want to see where else they go with their argument, right? Is that yeah. what you're talking about, Greg? I mean, yeah, kind of. I mean, because then it could just be uh, if you say, if you have a topic you don't believe in, which is usually the case. And right. then if you say, ah, uh, just to get out of it, you say, oh, Correct. I don't, I don't yeah. like pizza because, uh, and then end. Oh. Mm-hmm. So I would like to see where people go with it. Let's, let's give them one. Give like them, a okay. one get out of jail free. Right. Second okay. one, second one, it's over. All right. You guys cool with that? Yeah. yeah. Like, like a grace I a good, period. I think it's a good, uh, I think it's a good compromise. Okay. Right? Yeah. One. All right. All right. Are we going to start with uh, someone here in the room, Greg? You have okay. the questions. I have a few, yes. I would like to start with Menace. Oh, all right. Menace. <laughs> cool. Starting strong. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. All right, so the, the music is one minute okay. that we have here. But it's uh, one minute. Don't say um or uh. Greg, what is the question? Menace, make an argument as to why sending nudes through text message is a great idea and a great way to spice up your love life. Okay. Okay. So, Sending menace. If you want to, if you want to think about it for a second, let me know when you're text. ready. The time will begin when you start your argument. Okay. Here we go. Ready? Ready? Mm. Okay. Time. Sending nudes is the most absolute best idea ever. Okay, because <laughs> you can also track how well your body progresses. Maybe you're working out, right? And you wanna show off your beautiful sexual body to your partner. (laughs) And you can say, look, I'm gonna lose 10 more pounds just for you because I wanna stay hot and sexy. I want you to look at my big old booty (laughs) and my (laughs) voluptuous jugs and say, oh yeah, I want that. So then we can have sexual intercourse later (laughs) that day and just keep you all hot and spicy throughout your relationship. Because if you don't do that, you know, it might get kind of stale and you won't have sexual intercourse ever again. (laughs) And nobody wants that. They want to keep their relationship super strong. So I say sending nudes is one of the best things you can do while you're together. Now, I know some people that have sent nudes and it pops up. Menace, yeah. That was awesome. That was not easy. (laughs) That's super weird. That's so that's a great argument. And you made it look easy. Because I have been guilty of doing that. And I will chronicle, (laughs) like, wow, I was really fat last month or whatever. Uh Oh, I think I might be looking better or whatever. Okay, Greg, can I ask you a couple questions? Sure. Number one, how often do you do this? Send nudes? Yeah. Um, let's say w- once a month. Okay. Once a month. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Right. And then, uh, what does the nude consist of? Is it just a picture of your penis, or <laughs> is this a full body? No, shot it might or... it might be like a selfie. Some are full body. Some yeah. might just okay. be from can, the waist down. Yeah. Can I ask you a question? Would you be upset if your nudes ever leaked? Oh because, yeah, and I would oh, blame AI. Be devastated. <laughs> <laughs> and what do, you, saying... what do you do with these? Just send them to Mario? Yeah, of mm-hmm. course. What's your best angle? Oh, good question. Um, I mean, there's only the one angle. selfie angle, yeah. really, but yeah. probably like you know. Are you, are like, you just straight on, just a straight on selfie? Yeah, basically. Okay, yeah. gotcha. Yeah. Menace, rule- that was fantastic. Thank you. Are there rules to nude selfies? Like, do, like a certain angle? No, no. Well, I don't know any other. <laughs> I think no. You're are- like, I think the the better question is, what part of the body do you show most? Um. Probably, the ween? Probably no, the wiener. I don't yeah. accentuate the ween. Like if you're just doing a selfie, it's just, oh, yeah. it just Easy. happened to be right. nude, oh. you know? Or like you know, where the, the photo cut off is like cut off right at the top of the pubes. Like where you can see, <laughs> oh, yeah. you can yeah. see yeah. just a little bit of pubes, but you can't really see everything. Mm-hmm. So you leave yeah. some yeah. Just yeah. little tease. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, a little tease. Right. that's nice. Selfies right, in job, are buddy. just basically the worst. Uh, 412, Menace did an amazing Menace, that was great. That was great.
Okay, uh, I'm going to go with a question for Greg. Oh, boy. Okay. Greg. I'm scared. Greg, talk for 60 seconds without saying um or uh. Why all pit bulls are dangerous? <laughs> oh, damn, <laughs> dog. This is a terrible question. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Right, your time will begin when you start your argument. There are certain breeds of dogs that just have certain inherent natures. Uh -huh. I have met many a Chihuahua. They seem to inherently be nervous in nature. They're suspicious, they're skittish, they like to nip at you. Also, other breeds are inherently a certain behavior type. You have golden retrievers, generally very friendly. You have black labs, generally very friendly. But then enter the pit bull. They used to be known as the nanny breed because people thought erroneously that they were friendly dogs, but no, they are not. They are taught to be fighters. They are raised to be biters. You don't want a pit bull anywhere near your toddler unless you're looking for trouble. A pit bull gets a taste of blood and it cannot stop. It's like an <laughs> alcoholic taking that first drink. You're yeah. unlocking the yeah. lock with a key. And Preach, once you've brother. had that taste, you can't get enough. Also, there's physiology to consider. A pit bull's jaws will lock, and once they lock on, they get that sense of power, and they are starved for more power. Wow! I can't believe you did all those statements, Greg. I believe. I yeah. I Boy, I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need all that. I uh, believe in it. none of it. And I want to yeah. send that I, to the Save Pit Bull. I, 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 I don't we appreciate could, we could strip, your. We could, we could strip the music out of it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, I was doing that in here this whole time. Yeah. I okay, don't good. appreciate your breedism. <laughs> <laughs> Dag, every pit bull saver out there. Yeah. All right, nice, nice job. Uh, that is Greg, so scary. Who's, Greg, who's going to go next? Let's go with Sammy here. Okay. Sammy. Sammy. What's the question for Sammy? Or what, what's the topic for Sammy? Don't say um or uh. Sammy, you need to convince us that hunting for animals for the sole purpose of mounting their heads on the wall oh. is a great thing. So just for mounting or sport in general? Yeah, just well, no, hunting for sport. You're going to kill the entire animal just so you can put its head on your wall. Oh, man. <laughs> <Oof>. <laughs> you, you discard the All body. Right. It goes to waste. Good luck. Oh, no. you, can get your, uh, you can get your thoughts together. Your time will begin when you start your argument. Okay. You know, hunting... And, and hunting an animal that is a very rare breed that you can't find everywhere. Maybe it's a white buffalo or something very significant. It's great to find something and kill it and then mount it on your wall because then you preserve it forever and everybody gets to see its beauty for a long time. Whereas if it's just out in the wild living its life, it'll end up dying and then nobody sees it again. And maybe there isn't another one for a hundred years, but if you kill it and you keep it, then you're preserving it. And, and that really is for everybody. So while we're preserving these, also the hunter themselves, it's an art for them. It's the same as a painter. It's a skill that they've really worked on and they happen to be in the right place at the right time to find this extremely rare animal and they have honed their skills waiting for this moment their entire lives. Of course, they're going to take it and be proud of what they accomplished and everybody else can enjoy what they've done. Oh. Wow. Sammy! Oh. Nice. That was frighteningly good. Yeah. I know. <laughs> That's because so scary. scary. Almost, it. It almost made Brett yeah. want to hunt. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's because oh she legit believes God. it. Yeah, it was, that was oh really my good. Gosh. good job. That was fantastic. <sighs> yeah. Thank you. You could tell. Hey, before we go to the break, do you want to uh, try one of the callers? Yeah. Sure. All right, so I asked you before the break if you were very confident you'd be able to do this without saying um or uh or taking a big long break. To give us a call, and we do have uh, Donald. Hey, good morning, Donald. Donald. Good morning, guys. Good morning. All right, so you feel uh, pretty confident that you can do this. I mean, look, everybody's done a great job so far. Absolutely, they have. You don't want to be the first one to mess it up, yeah. you know? No, I do not, but I think I'm okay. 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 All right. Good. Greg Gorey, let's, uh, let's get a question here. Okay, Donald. Tell us why being rich really isn't all that great. All right, so your argument will, I'm sorry, the time will begin when the uh, argument begins. All right, what, what did I say? Did I just confuse myself? Okay, the time. <laughs> your time will start when you start your argument. The time will argument. start when your argument begins, so if you want to get your thoughts together here for yeah. a second. Tell us why being rich really isn't all that great. 
Okay, I'm ready. All right. So being rich means you're born spoiled. Everything's given to you. Your friends are fake because all they want is money. You end up being like Donald Trump, which, oh boy, that's, I wouldn't want to do that. And <laughs> you're just always spoiled with everything. You're look, turned into a total douchebag. Your cars, everything's given to you. You have no idea how to survive by yourself. You're out in the forest, dropped off because no one likes you. And how do you eat? How do you find anything? You know, everything's given to you. So they say money can't buy happiness. I think that's true. Because if you're a miserable person, you're a miserable person. Money's just going to make you more miserable because you can just show off your rings, your gold, and all your fancy cars and houses. But you're miserable inside, and the people around you are miserable because that's all you want to do is make them miserable. You don't want to make anybody happy because it's all about you and your money. And then when money's gone, what do you do? Wow, you did it. Wow, <laughs> nice. You did it. All right, Donald. That's another very convincing sounding person right there. Yeah. So it sounds like you really hate money, dude. <laughs> <laughs> or the idea of having well, money. You know. Yeah. Hey, guys, I just want to say, you guys make my morning good and happy, and I'm on the road all day listening to you, and oh, I just babe. want to say, you oh. bring a laugh hey, to thanks. the morning. So. Well, that's the best thing Appreciate you said. Appreciate you guys. Yeah, of everything man. you just said about how evil money is. <laughs> yeah. That is the, the greatest thing that you could have said to us. Yeah. Thank you so much. Appreciate you listening, yeah. Donald. Have a great day. I Way love you, cat. Donald. All right, guys. Bye. 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 All right, so we're, we're going to take a quick break. We'll come back. We got one for you, buddy. I know. Oh, I've, okay. I've, uh, I've got one, and uh, well, see, I just I say uh, a lot. Uh, it's going to be a really, really <laughs> hard thing for me. But a lot of times, it's because I'm doing a thousand things at once. True. Right. So look at we'll the pre, see how. Look at the pre-excuses. Yeah. yeah okay. All right. yeah. No, what I'm going to do right. is so I, I'm coming up with a strategy of I'm, a, I'm going to ignore everything else that's around me and just okay. really truly focus and see if I can do it. I'm probably going to screw it up. Okay. But we'll see. We'll see. Uh, phones are open, 877 Text us over to 22987. We'll have uh, one more little round of Don't Say Um or Uh coming up after the break. It's the uh, great debate tonight, the presidential debate. It'll be on pretty much every damn channel. Thank God for streaming services. It used to be that you were just stuck and oh, you had to yeah. watch whatever was just on mm -hmm. every channel. And it was on every channel. That's what I mean. If it was something like that, that's all you were watching. Yeah. Now, man, kids, they got it so easy. We have a good, too. We get to benefit from that. If you don't want to watch it, there's uh, plenty of yeah. other things to watch. I randomly watched the new Ghostbusters movie the other day. Ooh. The the Frozen one. Oh, really? Yeah, the ice, oh, whatever yeah. it was. Yeah. It was cool. The the only good. thing about it is, like, it's it's definitely, like, kids, like, cartoony-ish, yeah. right? Yeah. But they say a-hole multiple times, which really? I thought was- Kids swear all the time. We talk about yeah, that. But Man, like, when we were kids, we swore a lot. I, I just thought it was weird and out of place for yeah. how- cartoonish it was hmm well here's a question for you guys when you set the alarm on your phone you know they give you all the different options of what it will play oh right when the alarm mm -hmm. goes off or your timer goes off all the different yeah. sounds what's the one that you can't stand the most what's the most annoying one? Oh, this so is, many this is so easy i hate that old-timey classic <clears throat> Oh, it oh, sounds yeah. like a submarine alarm or something. Yeah, that's yeah. what I said because I I agree with uh, I agree with Greg. Oh, I hate and it. And huh? that's the one they call it classic. Yeah, this. Yeah. Oh yeah, like usually like all the default stuff. Yeah, I terrible. have I have that one. That's the one I use to wake up, and it's. Are you serious? Oh. I know. No. You wake up to that? It's the worst, but it wakes me up. It sucks, and I don't it will like all it. all wake you up. Oh yeah. I think I use pecan. 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 I don't know. I have it right pecan? here. It's like, pecan. It's like. Pecan? Pecan? Pecan. Uh, All right. Yeah. I think it's this one. Oh, that's my ringer. It's B E A O. Beacon? Beacon. beacon? beacon. Never mind. Never mind. Beacon. <laughs> pecan. Yeah. Pecan. pecan. I use beacon. Pecan. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> pecan. I'll, yeah, because I want to eat it. Yeah. <laughs> well, pecan. CNN did a big write up on this one iPhone alarm. You either love it or you hate mm. it. It's called By the Seaside. And it's the one that sounds like it's being played on a Casio keyboard. These okay. are the type. I would rather go with that classic and eh, and eh, eh, alarm mm -hmm. over one of these. The ones that kind of sounds like songs that were made on a Casio. Like right. the, this is the oh, this is by the seaside. Yeah, I call that the fish video game one. Yeah. Oh. It, it feels mm. like you're like playing a video yeah. game like underwater. It's, yeah, it sounds like some dumb. It does. Yeah, Nintendo. Totally. Yep. You know, type yeah. of game. Yeah. OG Nintendo. 
Yeah. Or this one. This one's called Strum. I don't like this one. Oh, that's terrible, too. Oh, I had that for a bit. I'm oh, shit. So guys. Nice. <laughs> oh, hey. Holy hey. moly, I got a call. Wow. Oh. Check me yeah, out. I don't I don't like it. Oh, they do it. have, I'm, I'm looking through here, they do have uh, old car horn. The, oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, really? Nice. That's, that's the one that's on the, the one that we use sounds, uh, where is it, like this. Oh, yeah. Pretty on the, par. And the Apple version sounds a little bit more gritty, like. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> I'm changing mine to that. <laughs> oh, I love it. I just got a text from Woody. Oh! oh! <laughs> yeah, but any of those ones that are songs I don't like, the By the Seaside. That's just too mellow. That wouldn't wake me. No. Any of these would wake you because it's noise. I don't, I don't think that one No, would. some of them I could sleep through. Really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I fell asleep last night, got multiple texts, didn't wake up but once. Pecan can't sleep through that. No, <laughs> pecan is impossible to yeah. sleep through. <laughs> So bad. But that damn submarine one. Yeah. Uh, that's the... Yeah. Yep. yeah. But I see why you would use it. Yeah, Rather I don't want to risk yeah. it. I know it's waking me up. Yeah, uh -huh. it would make you well, jump out of bed. <laughs> now I think Sammy should change her ringtone to that. Yeah, that, that'll wake me up. That's that'll good. That'll wake you up. Yep. So not in her wheelhouse. <laughs> no. I love that song. Never heard it before in my life. Static what? X. I, I would never assume she'd heard that. No. Oh, come that's Push It on the Woody Show. Right. Tonight is the first presidential debate between Trump and Biden. The debate drinking games. Everybody's Googling Ooh, them. Oh, okay. Uh, popular one for tonight. Anytime one of the participants attempts to shout over a muted microphone, you take a shot. Oh, okay, that's wasted. definitely a you possibility. Can also drink. <laughs> they, and they broke it down for each person. You're supposed to take a drink every time Trump says rigged, Hunter okay. Biden, age or old, Israel, Illegal immigrants, oh. China, Gaza, Mexicans, crooked, fake news, woke, Mar-a-Lago, or uses one of his nicknames for people like Sleepy Joe. Dude. We'll be hospitalized. Yeah, play yeah. it safe, people. <laughs> now, Don't get alcohol poisoning. Right. Yeah, that's not a shot for every time. Just take a sip yeah. of, you know, light beer or something. Yeah. Uh, you take a drink every time Biden says malarkey, felon, mm. golf, Putin, <laughs> COVID, January 6th. MAGA, Bidenomics, student loans, abortion, threat to democracy, border control, or Mar-a-Lago. Okay. So that's people are the odds on wasted favorites. tonight. Yeah, yeah you'll, with be, light beer, you'll, you'll be you'll be wasted. You'll be wasted. Yeah. Oh my god. Now we have one more to go for our round of don't say um or uh. I believe it's my turn. It is. Yes. And I'm going to try to really focus. Okay. I'm so bored. I'm gonna need your help on a backup here on the uh, technical side of things. All righty. Got me covered there. All right. What is the question, Gregory? Woody, you must make the argument for why Sebastian Maniscalco is the greatest comedic mind of our generation. Ooh. Oh. Wow. Greatest comedic mind of our generation. Yeah. Sebastian Maniscalco. Yeah, he sets the standard for comedy. Yeah, he's just the end all be all. Okay. And you have one I minute. I think, I think I'm ready. Okay. All right. The clock okay. will start when you start your argument. Sebastian Maniscalco is a really great comedian, and I'm going to tell you why. He speaks to the every person, and it's not just men. It's women. It's everybody, because everybody has a family. And so he has found a way, like some of the other great comedians before him, to take the family and things that everybody finds funny and work it into the conversation, work it into his comedy. Therefore, he's able to gain just this huge audience. And so the marketability of that, obviously, very smart. There's so many different things he could do with it. It allows him to be in movies because he's just a likable personality and everybody <laughs> perceives him as being funny. And so he has managed to, to figure out a way to be everywhere all at once. Stand-up comedy, television, movies. So how can you argue that there is a greater mind in comedy than Sebastian Maniscalco? He has taken his family, his accent, and made that. Oh, oh look at that. Wow. Wow, you're his biggest fan. I know. His biggest fan. You love him. love him. That is so tough when you hate something so much. You want to kiss him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting here because when you're not the one doing it, uh -huh. you're going, oh, no big deal. Easy peasy. I know. Right. And then when you're on the spot, scary. Yeah. Also, I, have attended, I had to close my eyes. I was 
looking at nothing. I just yeah. had my eyes closed and I was just completely focused at the task. Visualize. Yeah. Wow. You have to do that. How awesome he is. Oh, I'm going to go watch all his films yeah. now. Oh, God. He's You, you want to bathe with so him. So compelling. I know. Sebastian Maniscalco. You want to lay in a bed and <laughs> spoon. <laughs> we get it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Spin on you, love. Sebastian Maniscalco, you bastard. Oh, damn. Whoa. And I did it. Yeah. Now, what is your